Hey guys, how's it going? It's Ape and Eric. We're going to play a horror game called Nerd. Now this is the Nintendo Switch version. And boy, does this game look dark already? Judging from the title screen. Now typically, I don't play scary games because I jump square. Jump scare pretty easily. So if you enjoy being humored by me, getting scared, please uh, click that like button. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you. We're playing the Switch version again, if I didn't already touch on that. Um, I don't know what this game's about. I thought it looked pretty cool. Let's put on the handy dandy beanie, shall we? The beanie's good luck. We have to right. find oh my gosh, first. look at these graphics. Okay. okay. And get some sleep. Um, if we're lucky, we can she looks like a space alien. Tomorrow, I want to get some recording and area look at her hair following behind her. So um, definitely looks, not game of the year when it comes to... To graphics. Oh, we're already being thrown out. What's up? Our shelter first. Shine the worry about recording shine later. the light in her face. <laughs> my goodness, look at that. Check my map again. We have to get to some cabin first. So, uh, definitely, definitely an interesting, an interesting game. So we're over here. Let's find a cabin find our cabin so campsites across and I think I'm running so hopefully man look at these trees <laughs> these graphics are not the best guys I'll tell you that much definitely definitely a pretty low budget Nintendo switch game so this is the train station right here am I able to do anything can we open the door? B. Pushing B. It's not opening. Okay. Lots of fog, too. I don't like that. I, that definitely hurts my eyes a little bit. Let's go ahead and let's let's go up. <laughs> See how far we get into this game. So far, it doesn't really have a creepy ambience. It looks like an N64 PS1 game. The mansion's right here. Can I grab? I kind of want to grab some items. That's a pretty rundown, pretty rundown mansion. Let's uh, let's continue forward. And toy maker's house. That's that's a weird name for a building. The toy maker's house. All right. Um. Depends on what kind of toys we're talking about. The kind that Jay's mom likes, cause uh, that's a whole different kind of uh toy that's a toy maker's house I don't think I can go I can't go inside anything I think I have to go to the campsite all right so we're, we're coming up to our campsite and hopefully it's not that scary all right, campsite. This has to be our campsite. Is it not? It said our cabin, so... Oh, I'm so dumb. I didn't see it up on the top. I. <laughs> it literally says our cabin. I didn't see it up top. Oh, I'm just going to leave, leave the map open. That's nice. Nice little touch. You leave the map open and uh, and run with it. So we know exactly where we're going. So uh, I will say the graphics of this game are definitely on the lower end of of what I've seen on on the Switch. Uh, I mean, there's there's a lot of games on the Switch that basically have this crummy look. Obviously, this is probably on Steam first because Steam Steam's like the Wild West when it comes to how games look. And you might be asking yourself, Eric, wh why do you do this to yourself? It's uh, you know, it's it's what I do. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead. Our cabin looks like it should be somewhere like right here. If I'm not mistaken, so yeah, here we go. Our cabin. Cutscene. Hey, we're here. 
You're here. Is there There's our cabin. cabin. Dear, you're panting. you're panting. Told you you have to exercise more. I told more. you you have to Ugh. exercise more often. Ain't that relatable, like in real life. Okay, so here we go. What's in our cabin? All right. I mean, it's it's cute. Furniture's a little bit out of place. Finally, we can get some rest. But yeah, now we're going to get some rest, so let's see what happens here. I'm curious about this curious toy about the toy house maker's well. house as well. Indeed. I am a whole too. different layer of mystery within the story. We'll investigate all about it. Within this story. We'll investigate Look, all random about shoes it. hanging on chains, guys. Let's go investigate you, the, the building that has that? random that? shoes. Ah! Oh, shoot. Ah! What the hell? Ah! No! Nora! Ah! Ah! Did I just get murdered? Look. <laughs> what, what in the world? What in the world just happened right there? That was that was pretty random. Okay, so we are on a loading screen and something scary just happened where blood smattered all over. I had no idea why. No clue. Joe? Uh, Nora? Where are you? Uh, wh what happened? My head... Uh, my head hurts so bad. My head hurts too. Somebody attacked us while you were asleep. They kidnapped me. They kidnapped me. Where are you? I'm still in the cabin. I just woke up. My head is spinning. Where are you? Like, why did we need to camp out in a creepy area, obviously? Like, look, why are people always looking for trouble in, in scary movies and scary games? It's like, it's like, why? Why, why you always got to be looking for trouble? I'll, I'll find you. I should All right, check, check the mansion, mansion first. first. And then the train, train station. station. I feel... Safer and feel safer and warmer when I'm around fires and light sources. Good rule of paranormal investigation. Evil spirits can't hurt you if you're around fire and lights. I hope. So it's one of those games where you have to have light sources and stuff. All right, let's go into the check my journal. the great dark. Where's the mansion? So across. I wonder if there's anything chasing you. It's a light source right here, so. Definitely feel safer there, right? Little candle. <laughs> I don't know. Just If the graphics were better in this game, I probably would be a lot more scared. Looks like there's something... Some random happening on the floor right there, like a random fire pit. <laughs> like, like what in the world was that? Oh no! What? Is that like a zombie? It just appeared out of nowhere. Um, I don't think I can jump. I'm going to the mansion though. All right, uh, mansion straight ahead. Can I not grab the light? There's a fire. All right, so we're in the mansion. Pretty broken down mansion if you ask me <laughs> I don't see anything 
pots. It's like why why do people in real like there's people in real life that would that would get a kick out of out of looking at this at this place. I'm over here getting disoriented and it's just a video game. <laughs> like this light makes it tough for uh for me to even see the darkness of this screen. I'm actually considering turning it off. It's kind of hard for me to see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, there we go. Much better. Hmm. Maybe I can cut through these planks. An axe would be handy if I can find. I don't one. have an axe. I guess the dark, the darkness kind of makes it complete. I don't see an axe. Maybe there's an axe. Somewhere outside. Oh my god. What in the world is that? <laughs> I don't want to test my gangsta on that. So let's go around. That door don't look like it opens. Where's this guy? Fuck it. Oh shit. <laughs> oh. Can I move? No, I can't. I thought I could attack or something. Obviously, you can't. That wasn't a very smart fucking move at all. Oh, God. Anyways, I'm going to end it there, guys. This looks like a game that you definitely have to waste much more time than that. Um, definitely not polished. The graphics were very big eyesore. It was very dark. Um, slow running. The frame rate kind of felt weird. It felt very early, like not a not a current generation game, not even last gen. Uh, very low budget as well. Um, it does seem like, um, of course, you could probably do the the brightness and stuff in the settings, but yeah, this is a very low polished game. I don't know if I could recommend it. Um, it seems very very unfinished. So yeah, what do you guys think? Comment down below. Let me know, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good day. Peace out.